everyone if you're new to the channel you can subscribe to the channel for future updates and guys please visit my website guys you can check the link in the description below and of course i have launched the new instagram account and make sure you follow for more future updates enjoy the solutions hello everyone welcome to this um I'm called gaku show gaku bo physics part 4 and i want to continue the discussion here about number four there the question says two containers a and b of volume v are connected by a thin tube right there's a cock is equipped in the thin tube and is closed initially a gas of a pressure p and a temperature t is contained in the container a and a gas of a pressure 2p and a temperature 3t is contained in the container b exchange of the thermal energies between the gas and the containers may be ignored and the volume of the thin tube may be ignored. The gas may be considered as an ideal gas composed of monoatomic molecules, and the universal gas constant is denoted as R. Number one, it says that what is the number of moles of the gas contained in container A? So basically, we just use the ideal gas equation, right? Because the gas there is considered as an ideal gas. So that would mean this... We just make n equals PV over RT, right? So the answer is PV over RT is E. And the option two, what multiple of number of moles of the gas contained in container A is there in container B? So basically, it is asked about uh, the ratio of moles of in container B. So if we found the most in container B, it is PV over RT. But in container B, the P is 2P, volume is still V, and the R is 3T, that is 2 over 3 PV over RT. And we know that PV over RT is the mole in the container A, right? So this has become 2 over 3, the most in container A, right? So the answer is F. Now, number three, it says that what multiple of internal energy of the gas in container A is there in container B. So basically, it is uh, again the ratio that internal energy, the formula is 3 over 2 P delta V. And remember, 3 over 2 here is for the monoatomic ideal gas. Okay, And because P delta V is also an RT, we could actually make this formula too, right? And R delta T. And then in the container A, the T is T, right? But in container B, the T is 3T. So that is three time, three times the internal energy in container A, right? So, the answer is option B, right? And now number four, it is said that now the stopcock is open. So, it is said that the gas now is mixed. Therefore, there is something change here. And they want to ask what is the temperature of the gas in equilibrium. Okay, now for this uh, type of problem, we need to consider the moles here. You know that and the most of in container B is two third in container A, right? So if we make the ratio this way, this would, the ratio between most in container B and most in container A is two over three. Therefore, we could make that and B is two x and A is three x, right? And the formula is you know that n moles is equal mass over uh, mass molecule, relative mass molecule. So we could say that the mass in container B is 2x and the mass in container A is true is, is 3x, right? Because n is uh, proportional to the mass. The purpose behind this is that because here has the lower temperature than this container, therefore we have to use the Black's theorem, that is the heat that is being accepted 
is equal to the heat that is released. Because in container B, the heat is, the temperature is higher than container A, it is, uh, when the stopcock is open, the heat here is released to container A. And the container A accepted the heat from the container B. And after that, the temperature here will reach equilibrium. And you know that the, 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 the formula of heat is mass times the specific uh, heat capacity, C, and times delta T, right? So this is the, the container that accepted heat is the A, so MA. And because they you now have the same kind of gas, this is, can be canceled out. And the delta T is that it will reach an equilibrium temperature. Let's say that is TE. That is higher than the container, than the heat in the temperature in the container A. And for container B, the heat in container B will be higher than the equilibrium temperature, right? Because when it is released, the temperature will be lower than this, but it is higher than this. So we could find the, the equilibrium temperature because MA is 3x, then the equilibrium temperature, the heat in, tem in container A is T, 2x, then the heat in container B is 3T minus TE. Cancel out. So that is 3TE minus 3T equals 6T minus 2TE. So that is 5TE equals 9, uh, 9T. So the equilibrium temperature is 9 over 5T. Right? So that is for number 4. In number 5, it is said that it is the principle is in mixing. Right? So for the principle in mixing, the formula is that pressure in container A and volume plus PV times VB equals the pressure of the equilibrium times the volume of the equilibrium. Okay, so that is just a matter of P and V. And you know that the pressure of in container A is P and there is V. The pressure in container B is 2P and there's V. And the volume of the equilibrium when it is mixed is 2V, right? So that is 3PV equals the pressure in equilibrium times 2V. So the pressure in equilibrium is 3 over 2P. So the answer is the option G. Okay, so that is for physics part 4. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video solutions. Yeah.